Hi, I'm David. Today we're going to repair my Sofa Solar controller with the internet because I've got a new broadband. Let's go. So, got a Sofa Solar inverter which is all working fine, um, but we've changed our internet provider. So unfortunately my app is not working and we are now today gonna do a tutorial on how to reconnect it in the event of obviously changing internet provider. Um, you know, the functions on the inverter still work, but the remote functions and the remote monitoring is, is what we want and we can't do that without the internet connection. So. I'm going to pass it over to Temi and he will go through how to set it up. Hey guys, it's Temi from Deed Solar and today I'm going to take you through the standard method of reconnecting your sofa inverter to the Solomon monitoring app. So this is useful if your inverter has lost communication with the internet and you can no longer monitor your system on the Solomon app. This should work if you have the hybrid inverter or just the AC charge controller. So as you can see, Currently, Dave's monitoring app isn't showing any data about his system. This is because his inverter has lost communication with the internet, maybe from changing his Wi-Fi, or just maybe because the inverter is too far from the internet and the communication is gone. So to reconnect, what you want to do on the app is go on device. This should be showing your inverter and also your logger. When disconnected, the logger screen might be blank or it will have the logger serial number, but it will show as offline. If it shows the logger is offline, click on the serial number and it will show the screen saying make sure phone is connected to Wi-Fi network. If the screen is blank, when you click on logger, you will have to rescan the barcode which can be found on the left hand side of the AC charge controller or inverter. If your inverter is using a dongle, the barcode will be in front of the dongle. So all you have to do is scan the barcode. You can also enter the serial number manually by clicking enter SN number on the bottom left of the screen. Once barcode is scanned or the serial number is entered manually, it will ask you to continue to configuration. On the next screen, click connected. This will prompt you to the next screen that will ask you to enter your network. Your Wi-Fi name might be selected already. And if that's the case, all you have to do is enter your password below. And if it's not selected, click on switch network. You will get a blue screen that will ask you to go into your Wi-Fi settings to switch to your Wi-Fi network. Once you've switched to your Wi-Fi network, return to the Solomon app, then enter your password in the password bar. Click on OK after entering your password. This will take you to another blue screen asking you to connect network AP to logger. Do that, you have to go into the Wi-Fi settings again and connect to the loggers network AP. That will be the network that starts in capital A, capital P, underscore, and this, your serial number in front. It might say no internet connection when you connect to that network, or it might say it's unsecure. That is absolutely fine. We'll just make sure you're connected to the network. If your inverter is using a Wi-Fi dongle to connect, it might ask you for a password to connect to that AP network. So the password is usually in front of the dongle, and would be labeled PWD. Simply put in the password and that should allow you to connect to that AP network. Once you're connected, go back into the Solomon monitoring app. You should get a pop-up asking you for permission to connect to the device on your local network. Simply press OK. The device will then begin to configure. So this might take a couple minutes. You should see a water tank in the middle of the screen showing the progress of the configuration. If successful, you will see configuration succeeded to which press got it to finish the progress. Depending on how long your log, log has been offline, it might take up to 30 minutes for the app to populate with your data and for the logger to be, to be fully connected. If you go back to summary, you can now see the system is connected 
and the green tick at the top of your screen. You can go to the device screen again, select a logger, which will not show that the logger is online. So some common issues you might come across is the configuration will fail. Uh, mostly that is to deal with the frequency of your internet. So for this to work, your internet needs to be on 2.4 gigahertz. So usually you might have the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz. Other reasons why the connection may have failed could be that you've entered the wrong password or you have a bad network signal. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. This is just one of two methods you can use to connect your inverter to the internet. So just in case this method didn't work for you, there is another method of which will be posted on the Deej channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you later. Thank you, Jemmy, for getting my sofa solar back online. And yeah, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow. And any questions or anything you would like to see in the future, put in the comments below. Thank you.